we are going to go to gala. That looks so good, I can't wait. I know, I've gotta catch another room screening before it comes out. This would kind of be a good time to watch the movie. You know, I've never actually seen it. What? Yeah, I just never sat down to watch it. I mean, it's my favorite nostalgia critic review, but I never did actually bother watching the full movie. You've never seen The Room? Uh, well, I... Oh, no, 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 I haven't, I haven't, I haven't! <sighs> Let's watch it. the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. I... I think I love it. I shouldn't, but I do. Why? Well, you know what they say. Love is blind. I've got to do a top five on this. Teacher, will you join me? Go on. Will you do a, a top five with me? Go on. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live. With the disaster artist hitting theaters very soon, it's time to shine a spotlight on what started it all. Get your spoons ready. The room is an unexplainable anomaly. The movie is filled with ambition that is so impossibly determined, it's amazing in spite of itself and its eccentric director slash star slash writer slash pretty much everything, Tommy Wiseau. Originally released in 2003, The Room has amassed a legion of dedicated fans worldwide. Its popularity as a cult classic has only grown over the years, with interactive screenings being shown all over to the followers of this truly one-of-a-kind film. Its enigmatic creator has become a point of obsession for this fan base. Where is he from? How did he fund the room? Which stupid comments are we supposed to leave in our pocket? Tommy Wiseau has embraced his fame and the man behind this project continues to revel in the success of his disaster piece. Greg Sestero, Mark in the Room, wrote a book about his experiences with Tommy, which is what the new movie is based on. And the disaster artist covers a lot of the room's most ridiculous moments. But which are the best? Or worst. They're pretty much indistinguishable, but that doesn't matter. These are the top five best slash worst moments from the room. Number five. You're not my fucking mother! You listen no, to me, no, old boy! No. Somebody had better do something around here! This whole scene is amazing. It might be the most ridiculously chaotic part of the movie. Following Chris R's violent attempt to get his drug money from Denny, Lisa and Claudette scold the young man for associating with such a dangerous person. Confusion and pandemonium ensue, and it's hilarious. Somehow, this has the timing of a wild improv sketch. Through the repeated yelling and hysteria, this sequence has several classic lines. What kind of drugs do you take? It's nothing like that. What the hell is wrong with you? I just needed some money to pay off some stuff. How much do you have to give him? This is not the way you make money. How much? Stop ganging up on me. And is maybe Denny's shining moment. It's the unintentionally perfect mix of whining, screaming, escalation, incoherence, and pure insanity that leaves you stunned and somehow wanting more. And Tommy doesn't even show up till the very end. Denny, Lisa, and Claudette basically pull off a flawless Three Stooges bit. Yeah, that makes no sense, but neither does this. I love it. 
As nuts as this was, we're only scratching the surface. Number four. Nobody wants to help me, and I'm dying. You're not dying, Mom. I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. You ever have someone spring a life-changing revelation on you in such a mundane way? Ugh, I hate when that happens. Claudette is blabbing on about how her brother wants to buy her house or something, and out of nowhere, she brings up that she has life-threatening cancer. The best part about this completely random information, it's never brought up again. Not once, not even in passing. It's just, I have cancer. Okay. It's definitely Claudette's most famous line in the movie, and one that is as nonchalant as offering someone a mint. It's absolutely a signature moment in the film. Where else would you see something like that? Only on Tommy's planet. That's where. We're going to move on to number three now, and I definitely have polio. Number three. You're lying, I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Why are you so hysterical? Do you understand life? Do you? Iconic. Never have six words come together so well to perfectly express one's emotions. It's brilliant. Johnny is finally confronting Lisa about her spreading the rumor that he hit her. She's being very distant, and Johnny has just had enough. He's very sensitive, you know. The poor guy can only take so much before he snaps and lets out his frustration. We do know that Tommy was trying to emulate a James Dean line. Let's take a look and compare. You're tearing me apart! You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Yep, exactly the same. A lot of people would argue that this is the best slash worst line and moment from the movie. They wouldn't be wrong. It's taken on a life of its own, and when people quote the room, this is often the first thing they say and talk about. With all due respect to James Dean, I think we all know who nailed this line more. I want to see Tommy and inside the actor's studio so he can discuss his delivery here. Can we make that happen, Internet? Number two. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. This scene speaks for itself. It's so simple, there isn't much to explain. Johnny goes into a flower shop, buys some flowers, pets a dog, and leaves. Somehow, Tommy Wiseau made that simple act one of the most memorable parts of the movie. It's flawless in its peculiar rushed pace. When this scene starts at screenings of the room, people immediately start cheering. Let's watch it one more time. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. There are so many things wrong with those few seconds that it's instantly genius. I want to go to that flower shop. I want to order a dozen red roses. I want the clerk to keep the change, and I want to pet that doggy. You're doing great, buddy. You're living your best life. Only one moment is better than petting doggy. Honestly, this entire movie is filled with honorable mentions, from how is your sex life to I just like to watch you guys. <laughs> even Johnny humping Lisa's dress. They're all worthy. Just rewatch or watch The Room and you'll find that it's packed to the brim with moments that only it can provide. And, and the, the number, number one best slash worst, worst moment, moment from, from The Room is... I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. How could it be anything else? Everybody knows, oh hi Mark, it's been ingrained in our culture. Johnny has found out that Lisa is spreading lies that he hit her, and he's angry. Angry enough to kind of yell, throw a water bottle, then change attitude on a dime and cordially say hi to his friend. He did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. He did not hit her. He did not. Oh, oh hi, hi Jim. Jim. This is the moment I feel like most people point to. The acting is so absurd that the scene has become a phenomenon. Only Tommy Wiseau could deliver that line in that way. His style, we'll call it, is why this movie is so beloved. The Room is a one-of-a-kind film that we both recommend you experience, both at home and at one of the screenings. To check out my review of the Disaster Artist movie, take a look at last week's Orbit Report, where I lay out my thoughts on this highly anticipated adaptation. Over on my personal channel, you can also see my review of the film, and if it lives up to all the positive press it's been receiving. 
We want to hear what you guys think. What is your favorite moment from the room? What do you want me to cover next on the show? Leave us a comment and let us know. Otherwise, you can find me on social media at Facebook as Ayana Wade or everywhere else as Awesome Ayana or right here on Channel Awesome every Monday on Orbit Report. And you can like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash awesomewalterb or follow along on Twitter to take part in more polls about what may be covered in the future. I'll be back next week with a brand new episode of Top 5. Okay, Walty, bye.